Hello, welcome to my channel. In the world of ham radio, you can spend almost an endless amount of money trying to purchase radios and equipment when a Baofeng will do several things, at least starting out. Um, the quality of a Baofeng is always in question in the world of ham radio, but I'm still a believer in the fact that they are great radios for someone just starting out. Uh, despite the small cost in getting one of these radios, there's still many things that someone with a technician license can do with them. Um, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through some of the interesting things you can do with this radio. I want to add that if you have a Baofeng radio, you can listen in legally, uh, but you cannot transmit without a license. You're required to have a license to transmit in the ham radio. The first thing that you can do with a Baofeng radio is accessing repeaters. These repeaters are really good at receiving signals and rebroadcasting them back out. They're meant to take signals from smaller handheld radios or car radios and rebroadcast them through a much farther area than what these can reach uh, just line of sight. They're usually located all around uh, the world and they're maintained by ham radio operators or clubs. You can find repeaters by using a service like repeaterbook.com or radioreference.com are my favorite too. Repeaterbook.com does have an app that you can use offline and it uses GPS coordinates to show you repeaters within your location. Um, with the five watt Baofeng, I've actually successfully been able to reach repeaters 60 miles away, um, which rebroadcast it out even farther. So you can have a lot of fun uh, hitting repeaters in your area if you're licensed. Next is getting on the ham radio nets. Um, once you learn how to use these repeaters, you can listen or even join in on ham radio nets. Every net is different, uh, but they are structured. So it's great to listen in and learn how it's structured a few times before you join in. Different ham nets have different purposes, but typically they're used for giving comments to your local ham radio operators about you know things you did that day or or something you're learning about in ham radio and a lot of times you can have discussions after the net uh, with people who's interested in that topic it's a great way to meet local hams and also learn from experienced people along the way um, another use in my local area of these nets are to buy and sell ham radio equipment. There are legalities around talking about things for sale on the air, but as long as you stay within those laws, you should be fine. These nets where you buy and sell equipment are really great because I was actually able to purchase what would have been a $4,000 antenna tower for $250. And he was happy and I was very happy. Although this is not ham radio related, you can find frequencies using sites like radioreference.com where any frequencies around you, you can use your Baofeng to listen to those frequencies. Uh, frequencies such as the police department, the fire department, and other emergency services. Even beyond emergency services, you can find frequencies for local businesses, um, like the mall security will use radios uh, that you can listen to sometimes. Um, it's important to note that you are not allowed to transmit outside of your ham radio frequencies or you can get in serious trouble. Despite this radio being a simple FM transceiver, you can actually purchase small little dongles like this digirig here. You can use this radio with digital mode, such as APRS, WinLink, SSTV, JSA, Call, and more. Personally, I love this little digirig. I've been using it for a couple weeks. I've purchased cables for both my Baofeng and my TYT TH9800 radios, and it works well with both. I'm able to use this radio with the digital modes that I've always wanted to try without spending two grand on a radio. I also have a MobiLink TNC4 on the way to so I can use these digital modes with my Android easier, although the DigiRig does work uh, with some of the applications, APS. APRS Droid, which is my favorite ham radio mode. You can also use Direwolf or Vara FM, which are free applications to receive digital signals without transmitting. Um, if you have one of these, you can pair this with Direwolf or Vara FM to transmit, but if you don't have one of these, you can use those to just receive these digital modes uh, just to learn. And again, you can do that without a license. Um, you can find the link to the DigiRig and the MobiLink 
uh, TNC4 below, but those are great resources to be able to do digital modes with your cheap baffling radio. As I said earlier, APRS is one of my favorite modes um, of amateur radio, um, which APR stands for Automatic Packet Reporting System. There are many things you can do with APRS with just a cheap Baofeng that I have been using uh, for the last couple of weeks, thanks to my DigiRig. Um, you can get local weather reports, which are transmitted by other amateur radio operators. Uh, you can get position reports of those radio of those operators, um, and sometimes they even report on some of the frequencies that you're, they're currently listening on, and you can reach out to them. Uh, that way you know where they are, if you can reach them, and what frequency they're on. It's a great way to meet local people um, who are interested in the same things you are. Another cool thing you can do with APRS um, with your Baofeng is you can actually use it to send te SMS text messages to and from phones. You can send emails to and from the internet just using, you can find repeaters in your area and send messages by the International Space Station and other satellites just with using your Bofang with the DigiRig. The list goes on and on on what you can actually do with your radio. With the DigiRig, I can easily send and receive APRS packets. Um, it works really well. I've been able to work the International Space Station and receive packets from half the U.S. all at one time. It was really fun and it's definitely worth the money that I put into the the Baofeng and the DigiRig. Speaking of satellites, there are actually many amateur radio satellites circling the Earth at any given time, and the odds are one is flying by your house every few minutes. Most of these satellites actually work in the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band, which is what these Baofengs work with. Because of the 2 meter and 70 centimeter band characteristics, they're actually really good for earth to space and back communication, which is why the Baofeng is actually really good uh, with that. You don't actually need a high, high power wattage radio. Um, as long as you have a directional antenna, you can pick up those signals and receive them very easily. There are apps that you can use on your phone to find when these amateur radio satellites are passing your way. Um, they can alert you or you can just refresh the list and see what time it's passing by, which speaking of, I actually missed the space station today, so I should set up alerts on my phone. One thing the Baofeng is great for is learning. And to me, learning is actually why I got into ham radio. One of the great things is you don't have to spend multi-thousand dollars on radios to learn. You can learn about many different parts of ham radio with just your Baofeng. Whether that be about antennas, signal propagation, um, you can explore several different bands depending on which radio you get, but several of them support 2 meter um, and 70 centimeter. And some of them, like the UVX3, even supports the 1.5 meter, which is the 220 megahertz band. There are tons of things you can use your radio to learn about without having to invest thousands. One of the things you can use your Baofeng for is learning about antennas. Um, although I've purchased the main antennas that I use, you can save tons of money and create your own antennas with things you probably already have laying around your house. Um, a simple wire or even copper pipes can be cut to certain lengths and shapes and be able to design your own antennas for different uses. Take the J-Pole antenna, for example. It's just a few copper fittings and pipes. It can be easily made at home and it's just a few dollars worth of copper. You can use that for an antenna made just for APRS. I've even seen different types of antennas made that works directly with satellites. You can do all this from home with stuff you have laying around without needing to spend a bunch of money and you can hook it up to your Baofeng using a cheap cable you buy off the, the internet. Believe it or not, one thing you can actually do with your ham radio is triangulate where signals are coming from. There's been many of times that I've used my SDR dongle, Software Defined Radio dongle, and seen all these different frequencies that has things transmitting on them. And I've always been curious where a lot of these come from. But one thing ham radio has taught me is even with a simple Baofeng, you can actually triangulate where these signals are coming from. Uh, using this with a directional antenna and some advanced techniques, you're able to triangulate where that signal is actually being transmitted from. And having only a Baofeng in your arsenal does not stop you from doing that. 
This is just scratching the surface of things you can do with your Baofeng radio, but maybe it's enough to get you started. If you can pick up one of these digi-rigs or similar devices, it opens up a whole new world in possibilities of digital radio. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything neat you have used your radio for that I may have missed. I'll see you next time.